all right what's up youtube back at you with another video we're here with the craven the hunter official trailer i don't have too many thoughts about this so i'm not gonna say too much without further ado let's get into it Weak, sick in her mind. You know my business. Yes. Power is about strength. If you show weakness, mm. you will give our enemies an opening. Shoot. Shoot. Oh no. He's weak, like his mother. Leave him. What happened that day? I stared death in the face, and for the first time, I saw my true self. Tell me about this hunter. They say he uses a connection with animals to track his prey. Once you're on his list, there's only one way off. The six of us, and only one of you. The six of you now. I didn't need to see that. Why do you hunt? My father. Uh -oh. He's evil into the world. I take it out. I think you're some kind of honor. You are exactly like our father. Just another man hunting for a trophy. The murderers. Isn't that what he taught us? You don't get to do that to me anymore. Mr. Teglin? Mr. Teglin? Where's Mr. Teglin? Oh, you're standing in him. You're a goddamn lunatic. Oh, you just figure that out now? Don't you want to know why they call me the Rhino? Alright. Now, it's funny that this trailer is just now coming out because I spent the last two or three days Ben's watching the original Spider Man cartoon series on Disney Plus the last couple of days. And. I actually enjoyed all of the Craven the Hunter episodes. Now here's my problem with this trailer and with this film, and I have a couple of them. For one, I'm kind of getting tired of these standalone Spider-Man villain films. I don't think these films work without Spider-Man, all right? Venom is that one instance where it can kind of work but even then i feel like the second film fell short of what it could have been and the first film to me was i right. all right the first venom to me was a c plus to a b minus and then venom 2 was a c minus film it wasn't that great it wasn't horrible but it wasn't like a film that i'll go out of my way to see multiple times now as for this film i don't think this is a film that is really gonna work I don't even know why they keep their I don't know what their fixation with with solo spider-man like villain movies is because they should have learned their lesson from Morbius I think Venom is as far as you can go all right and I think even the third Venom might be the last one I'm not sure don't quote me on that but the guy who they got to be Kraven first of all I I don't know I mean whatever now they got the black girl to be his love interest i already have a problem 
with the whole like just agenda pushing of interracial dating and craving the hunter is just another you know iteration of pairing the white man with the black woman okay but i understand that calypso if this is who she is because this is coming off the heels of me binge watching the spider-man uh cartoon the last couple of days calypso is a woman of color so i i guess whatever but anyway the point that i'm making is i would have rather see this guy and let's say the next spider-man film the the next tom holland spider-man film i would have rather seen that than for him to have his own film and then on top of that it doesn't really set up for anything really exciting because the rhino is the villain or i guess the i i, I don't know the, the rhino is his adversary in this film and rhino is probably among one of my lesser favorite villains of spider-man like i don't like him at all and they're basically setting this shit up to be like the hunt so it's like craven the hunter and then he's hunting a freaking you know rhino you know what i'm saying like i, I don't know i don't like it and then on top of that i think the origin of craven it should have been a lot like the cartoon so i kind of liked the whole um the fact that he got his powers from a man-made you know serum rather than him getting attacked by a freaking lion and then i guess a drop of of the lion's blood fell into his and then all of a sudden he just becomes this pseudo tarzan you know superhuman guy who can you know hunt people based off of his superhuman abilities and his you know telepathic communications with animals like i don't know i i just think this is corny it's cheesy i might not even see it i'd probably see this for free but based off of again how i felt seeing venom 2 morbius and then this shit it's just like a recipe for disaster i don't think you know sony really knows what they're doing and i think they really should just leave it to kevin feige and the mcu to just handle spider-man and spider-man villains they they're just not getting it right and i would not be surprised if this film were to underperform at the freaking box office so if you got black adam coming out and black adam only did 300 plus million dollars worldwide in the box office what do you think a craven the hunter solo film is going to do with nobody famous in it so you know that that's pretty much it um i was expecting a little bit better um and this just wasn't that great a trailer to be honest with you so i'm not enticed at all to want to go see this film and in fact it just makes me more excited to see the real Kraven the Hunter in Marvel's Spider-Man 2 for the PS5 coming out in October. So, in fact, all my attention and energy is going to go towards the video game later on in the fall. So, really, I think they got it wrong with this trailer and they got it wrong with doing this film. I think this was a waste of a film budget. Not to say it's going to be a bad film. If you're going to go see it, have fun seeing it, but I will not. Um, anyway, so those are my thoughts. Please be sure, as always, to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.